we are wrestling with WWE NXT UK Blackpool Takeover 2. That's a lot. Um, you know, NXT uh, UK kind of WWE's dirty little secret at the moment. Um, not a lot of people I know watch it. But, um, you know, maybe this is the one time out of every quarter that people actually maybe sit down and watch them. I know you did. So what was your takeaway of this pay preview? Uh, well, I mean, at this point, this was a a a stepping stone to Worlds Collide on uh, on the twenty fifth. Um, it was it was it was a it was a good pay per view, but it wasn't it wasn't anything like you know spectacular. Uh, we kind of knew going in that. Uh, you know, Walter wouldn't uh, be dropping the UK championship uh, to Joe Coffey. A hell of a hell of a match. Hell of a match. Uh, oh yeah, Joe Coffey is super underrated. Uh, by the way, the rumors are that Walter is getting a brand new title belt. And it is being christened the NXT UK Championship. Wasn't it the UK, the NXT UK Championship anyway? No, it was the WWE United Kingdom Championship. I mean, only three people ever held that belt, so why can't they hold on to that one a little longer? Well, I mean, because the importance of it being an NXT brand is. It's more to do with, you know, the fact that it's going to be, you know, Imperium versus the Undisputed Era, you know, champion versus champion. Right. And they, they don't want it to seem like it's NXT versus the WWE. They want it to be NXT versus NXT UK. And the first match that was... Eddie Dennis versus uh, Trent Sevens. Um, Eddie Dennis won in 8 minutes and 16 seconds. Um, what are your thoughts on Eddie Dennis? Because he came out looking like Marty Skrull, and then he kind of um, took off the mask, and the mystique kind of died for me. Uh, I mean, I mean, quite, I, I mean, honestly, he's, he's great to watch. He's He's still a little, well, yeah, you know, a little, a little generic to me. I mean, the name like Eddie Dennis, like. I mean, the guy came out with a dragon mask, and it kind of was reminiscent of Marty Scroll and the Plague Doctor mask. So I was like, okay, who is this guy? And then he kind of took off the mask. And didn't seem like there was any personality underneath there. Yeah, that's 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 seems like a guy that he's he's trying to find you know who he is in terms of you know an actual in ring persona. Right. Kaylee Ray retained her UK NXT Championship against Tony Storm and Piper Niven. I'm a I'm a Kaylee Ray mark, so I'm I was kind of happy about this. Uh, yeah, I this was this was uh good. I've I've always been um I've always been quite high on uh on Piper Niven. Actually, uh, you know, she's not your, uh, your, your, your typical, your cookie cutter, you know, skinny, 
you know, she's got a little, she's got some curves to her, and, you, know, you like curves on a woman's scooter? Oh, I love them. <laughs> I love them. There's, no, there's nothing more beautiful than a naturally curvy woman. Just ask my wife. Um, if I ever meet her, I will. <laughs> Believe me, she is, my wife is the curviest. Love you, baby, if you're listening to this. <laughs> Um, but, yeah, the, the fact that Piper is a, uh, well, I, I don't want to say BBW, because that's, a, that's, that's, some would say that's a little bit offensive, but she's a natural, you know, a curvy woman, and she can go in the ring. She could she proved it. Uh, Kaylee Ray is, is growing on me in the, uh, in terms of, you know, being that, oh, she's that heel that you just want to get her off the screen, but you can't help but watch. And uh, and and Tony Storm is the, you know, the the lovable, uh, the lovable, you know, blonde-haired face that you can't help but love. Of course. So th- this is this was a good combination. It was a good match, and it's a great jumping-off point for. Uh, what's coming in the future uh, between uh, Tony Storm and Kaylee Ray. Um, as for P- Piper Niven, what does she get out of it? Hopefully she doesn't just fall to the wayside after this and she gets you know more of a chance uh, to show her stuff in the future. Well, you know, maybe Tony Storm getting promoted to NXT um, maybe uh, she slides into that slide against Kaylee Ray. You know, um, it was a triple threat last time. You never beat me one on one before, type thing. Uh, well, I can, I can actually tell you that they are promoting a Kaylee Ray Tony Storm, I quit match. Uh, on the upcoming NXT UK TV tapings. Oh. Huh. So maybe that's um, Tony's uh, send off. It, it it very well could be. Uh, yeah, the stipulation to it is if Tony loses, she can't challenge Kaylee Ray again while she's champion. Well, there you go. Next match: Tyler Bates pin Jordan Nev- Devlin. Uh, in 22 minutes and 22 seconds. Uh, what do we say about Tyler Bates on the show, Scooter? Tyler Bates. Tyler Bates. Tyler, Tyler Bates. Tyler, Tyler Bates. <laughs> <laughs> I love thinking of that. But, um, That's why I set you up, man. I know you love to sing. Uh, I, I love this match. Absolutely great from uh, from start to finish. You you can't go wrong with Tyler Bate and and Jordan Devlin needed to show that he could do something. And uh, I'm assuming you felt he did. Oh yes, he he absolutely did. Uh, this was the, you know, in case of be you know, the right combination at the right time. And it made, it made for an absolutely great match. Well, uh, I'll, I agree with you on the fact that it wasn't a bad match. It was good, but it was way too fucking long. I mean, it, it just kept going and going. It was just false finish after false finish. And, you know, it was just that, like the point of, you know, I could go up and get up and go to the bathroom because I know this match is never ending and come yeah. back and it'll be uh, still on. Eventually, I completely expect NXT UK to actually do a match that doesn't actually end and goes on for like a week. <laughs> you mean, uh, because, you know, um, what is his name? Uh, Alex. What? Michael McGillicuddy. What is his name? Uh, 
He was originally Michael Mc... uh, Curtis Axel. You know, he's still in the, that Royal Rumble match. He was never eliminated, like in 2016. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Uh... There is a lot of matches that are still going on to this day that will never end. Hashtag fight forever. <laughs> going on to the next match, ladder match for the UK tag team belts. Uh, Gallus, Wolfgang, and Mark Coffey beat Grizzled Young Veterans, Zach Gibson and James Drake, Mark and Andrews and Flap. Flash Morgan Webster and Imperium, Marcel Bartel and Fabian Eichner in 25 minutes. Um, it's been a while since I've seen a multi tag team ladder match. I think the I think the last one in any WWE uh pro uh, and, and, and TV of any sort was WrestleMania 33. That's right. Um, NXT did one at a takeover about a year ago, I believe, that um, the Street Profits won. Yes. Yes, that is true. Yes. Um, I'm, I'm a bit puzzled why they wouldn't shoot the belts onto Imperium here. Right. If you're going for fact that Imperium is supposed to be the dominant force, it makes, and especially if they're going up against the Undisputed Era, it makes sense that they are, you know, the, essentially the equivalent of the, uh, of the NXT, you know, they're supposed to be like the opposites, right. the light to the dark of the, you know, of NXT, um, and again, it, it, I've always wondered why Fabian Eichner even has a job. So, right. Well, he, hey, you know he's doing both for himself now. Um. Yeah, Wolfgang obviously a part of NXT UK in its inception. Um. Mark Coffey and Joe Coffey kind of getting in there afterwards. Uh, but I agree with you. Um, you know, Undisputed Era, Tag Team Champions, um, they kind of should have won. It wouldn't make more sense that way, but... I mean, and, yeah, the Grizzly, yeah. Grizzly Young Veterans and Mark Andrews and Flash Morgan Webster, they don't need this win because they, you know, they're competing in the Dusty Classic. But then again, so so was Gallus and yeah, and they and they're out of it now, so uh Right. Didn't Mark yeah, Andrews and um, Rep still get eliminated as well? Yes they did. Yeah. But the the Grizzly Young Veterans put they spoiled the WWE debut of Alex Shelley. Yeah, I don't think anybody's crying about that. <laughs> I am. Um... Is it kind of wrong that um, I was rooting for Grizzled Young Veterans in that match? No, because Alex Shelley uh, and Kushida, they don't need that. They, they, they don't. They're not. They're they're not a WWE tag team. Yes, they were the time slitters back in New Japan. Yes, great, but this is honestly this this time with Kashida and everything is, believe it or not, uh, just killing time until they can lock down Chris Sabin. Oh, so they signed Alex Shelley. He's part of NXT now. Shelley is signed to a short-term deal, uh, from what I have read. Yeah. Release him and send him back to Ring of Honor. He he has been competing uh, on NXT house shows. Yeah. So. Alright, uh, and that takes us to our main event. WWE United Kingdom Championship. Walter beat Joe Coffey by submission in 27 minutes and 
31 seconds. I think the thing I like about Walter the most is that he doesn't win uh, a match the same way every time. I mean, talk about false finish after false finish. <laughs> like, uh, I mean, yes, NXT UK tends to deliver on their TakeOver main events quite often. But they also end up getting bogged down in false finishes and and people, uh, you know, people showing up. I mean, you had you had you had friggin' uh, Ilya Dragunov even you know showing up, you know, to help uh, fight off, um, you know. The rest of Imperium and Alexander Wolf. Uh, but I mean, in terms of uh, a match, this is you know eventually it's going to get to a point where the the great NXT Takeover UK main events aren't going to be great anymore. They're just going to be standard. Uh, complacent, and then eventually they're going to be boring. You, why do you say mm -hmm. that? Because the card kind of is mad, so it kind of overshadows the main events, or it, 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 no? Because they're going to keep doing the same, go the same 27, 28, 29 minutes, you know, over and over again, thinking that <coughs> what it's what the fans want and. They, they gotta realize that they don't have to go twenty-seven minutes, you know, a half hour at a time to get over. Do you think that's just because they feel they need to go thirty minutes, or do you think that they're filling in the time because they only have like four, four or five matches on a card? Uh, it could be a little bit of both. I mean, NXT UK has some of the most uh, rowdy and, uh, you know, uh, devoted fans. So, how, mu how much of deciding on the how long a match goes is fan service based on what they want to, what story they want to tell with the match? Like, what story were they trying to tell with you know with Walter and with Walter and Joe Coffey was it that Walter's you know a tough a tough son of a bitch that uh can't you know that uh, can take a beating and still you know, be the you know a, a, a guy that's as big as him yeah you know, yeah you know, possibly right. uh. Yeah, but then you know you they gotta learn to tell more stories with Walter and have it you know not not have him just rely on his in ring ability because you know he when's When's the last time you heard Walter give a, uh, you know, a five star promo? Right. You think that's uh, that's in part of him not speaking perfect English? Yeah, because you could you could get him to deliver an interesting promo if you took the time to 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 teach the guy. Right. But it. It's like it's the you know these days you know the WWE is impatient and you know with you know their um their plan to lock down as much talent as possible you know they're not it's not surprising to see them <coughs> not develop. Uh, somebody in terms of 
their character and letting them just go out and win the crowd over with just their wrestling ability. Where do you think NXT, um, at the UK takeovers compared to normal NXT takeovers? In terms of the fans, the fans at NXT UK make the takeovers more special. For some reason, they they're louder. They're 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 more into it. Uh, yes, NXT in you know in full sale have their devoted fans too, but. I mean, when's the last time you heard, you know, uh, you know, a U.S. NXT takeover? When's the last time you heard the fans potentially blow the blow the roof off the arena? Uh, it's well, they come pretty close when the, with those uh those death matches type things with Johnny Gargano or um like when we saw um. Uh, right, war like games we... and it seems like they they get. I think it's just different types of fans, you know. Yeah. And in America, we scream, we scream our head off, we're loud. Uh, you know, in Japan, they clap politely because <laughs> because it's the polite thing to do, and in UK, they sing. They don't cheer, they sing. They're, because they do the so- soccer chants. Um, yeah. The thing that always been, that I've always felt was that that wasn't really cheering to me. That was the, they were more into themselves than into what they were watching. That could just they, be me, uh, but. No, I actually. I actually agree with that. That's uh, it's like the crowd is like trying to get itself over, right? Uh, you know, just for the sake of oh, we're a large group in front of a camera. Let's be remembered. I mean, it's yeah. You, know, you would get the same kind of reaction if you went in a pub in England. What? Also, NXT, uh, you know, regular American NXT, they're not doing every match going, you know, 20 some odd minutes. And, you know, cause in British fans, oddly enough, they don't seem to get tired of false finish after false finish. They eat it up. Because they're, they're drinking their heads off. I mean, American fans... They, they, yes, they like that to a degree, and then eventually they pick up on what's happening, and they're, they're like, come on, just take it home. I mean, there's a reason that um, British wrestling's dying right now. Um, other than, you know, maybe NXT UK and maybe Ralph Pro, uh, independent wrestling down there isn't surviving. So maybe it's in part to that as well. Eh, well. What, what, what else uh, is there left to say without sounding like a uh, broken record? Right. And that will conclude our coverage of NXT UK TakeOver Blackpool 2.